Hello everyone, welcome to my channel, Tara of Nella. So today is going to be a collective message. So we're going to see what is in the energy, what is going on right now. So um, take what resonates for you, leave behind what doesn't. Um, remember you have free will to change your future. Um, tarot cards are used for spiritual guidance. Um, you can always book a reading with me um, on my Etsy store. And... Yeah, at the moment there's like a seven to ten day wait. I always like to make sure if you book a reading with me, you get it within the same week. I don't like people to wait weeks and weeks. So understand me, I'm very, very busy. I'm back to back all the time. But today I've made the time to sit down and do this reading for you. Okay, so what does the collective need to know? What is going on? Okay, so what I'm picking up, um, there is something fearful in the energy, right? Which just means there is some type of insecurity going on with you right now. Um, okay, so this message is kind of like a wake-up call or a warning sign in the terms of there's something that you may feel a bit inexperienced by. And this could be some type of temporary situation that's going on, like a temporary breakup, or it's like a quick pain. It's like something that's really happened super quick. Maybe you didn't see it come in. And this is what is creating this type of now fear and insecurity because you're you're just worried about something that's around the corner. Um, let me dive into what this is. Okay, so you have the tr the ship. So this is a symbol of um, travel, a journey, finances, and navigation. Okay, so some of you I'm hearing have travel anxiety. Um, that is a real thing. If you are traveling overseas or you're traveling by plane, you may have a bit. So someone seems to be going on a trip that they're a bit an anxious about. Um, some of you are definitely dealing with uh, something quite quick that's happened financially for you. So when we think of these two cards together, it's kind of like there is something traveling with you, right? It's not traveling away from you, you're traveling with it. So this is about you carrying something on your journey. And um, there definitely seems to be things that are like completed, things that are going to come like in terms of communication yeah it's kind of like with the ship is giving me this kind of feeling like you're gonna hear something oh the deck that i'm using right now so this tarot deck i'm using is called the circle of doors tarot um this was kindly gifted to me so let's see what comes else is coming forward with the collective what's going forward for the collective what's going on here death <laughs> the death card okay so this is like huge this card has appeared because there is really something that um is changing your life like your life is definitely uprooting and I feel like these are like big changes for you that you you're kind of not sure how to cope with them because sometimes when we go through big transitions in our life we struggle with them and that could be your fear and insecurity taking over um, it's like something's ended but like I said it's temporary whatever this is something is making you navigate your way to the next stage of your life okay so something you just got to think that this is this is temporary whatever you're going through it's not permanent and the death card has like basically clarified that it's basically clarified that you're going to enter a new cycle so you're not always going to feel this you're not always going to feel this pain you're not going to feel this insecurity this danger this fear because it's moving. The ship is clarifying that that feeling is moving. 
Um, so what's this do? energy? The devil. Okay, so these are like very big energies coming forward. Like, as I say, um, you are going through something that feels it feels hurtful it feels like you can't get out but you can the ship is waiting for you right the ship is just there you just need to get to that ship right so you just need to kind of navigate your way through your obstacles because the devil is really telling me that some of you are going through something that you feel is negative it's an attachment to you right like it's toxic and you need to get away from it we need to break the cycle if we don't break the chains we're never going to make the moves so this is kind of your strong message with the devil is to walk away from this pain you know um what is keeping you here possibly yourself um I definitely feel like there's things you're going to be seeing, like your intuition, I think is kind of reaching out to you. And some of you are really kind of getting this strong migraine and it's because um, you feel like something is wrong or it's not right for you and you're struggling how to, again, push past it, to move forward from whatever you're going through. Um, as this is a collective it could mean that you're going through something financially you could be having debt you could be really hating your job you could be you know wanting to move or you could be having you know health issues anything that's arising for you at this time is basically saying that it's short it's a quick temporary fix and it's basically saying until you make that decision to leave to move from what has been holding you back and what's keeping you in this feeling you know you're going to remain there until you make that choice i mean until you make that decision um let's see what else is this message okay so we've got the six of knives so the six of knives is about moving to a new chapter this actually says the word new chapter on it, right? So the Six of Swords is a really great card. I feel like you really need to see this. You really need to hear. Someone out there needs to hear this message. This is why I do these readings. Someone needs this spiritual guidance right now. It feels like this invisible shield that's following you, guiding you to move forward. Look how like similar the energies of the ship and the six of swords is because the six of swords is getting out of that situation and it's moving to somewhere better it's like you've made the ultimate decision for yourself to move forward you know you're not going backwards anymore you're ending something to start something new you've realized what's been holding you back what has been toxic or negative in your life and that quick pain that inexperienced fear insecurity and danger is temporary and it's because you've decided now you can heal you can move on because the six of nines, knives is a number of harmony and healing, but it's about moving to somewhere better. Um, getting past that big wave, that big turmoil, that big storm that you may have been going through. Um, so, lovely message. What else is coming forward with this? Okay, so we do have the rider. Okay. which has this cute depiction of this um, little witch. Um, so this is really a positive card. This is about messages, thoughts, ideas, and news. So there's definitely a news on the way. So if you're waiting to get that news, it's coming. You just gotta be a bit more patient. You gotta hang on. I keep hearing you gotta hang on because it's worth it. You know, we have the number nine up here, the nine of hearts, which is a number of attainment. Um, being close to your goal and having something of abundance eventually so the new chapter that you're heading towards is leading to a message okay and 
this is really about something you've been thinking about doing an idea and this is where that news comes in it's like the news you've been waiting for to get you out of that situation because you've been at a crossroads okay you've been really kind of unsure of your direction and we have the moon okay so the moon is really about opening up to your feelings this could be about career success fame uh, dreams or your subconscious but you're starting to really kind of open up to it now you know you're going to get to that level you're going to get to that point of you know your intuition opening up to your feelings and not hiding away from them you know not being afraid of the unknown so let me get one final message What's going to happen? What is this leading towards? Okay, so we have the Major of Keys. So this um, representing being a rebel. And when we're rebellious, we are choosing our own way. We're choosing our own decisions. We're stepping into our own power. Some of you could receive keys to a place or um, the key is a symbol and a sign to look around in regards to synchronicities, but you are opening new chapters. Um, because this is the Queen of Wands, this is such an energy of getting what you want, feeling empowered, feeling confident. So whatever's knocked your confidence and given you insecurity, you're going to get your confidence back which I think is such a great message to end the reading on because when we have a confidence to do things is when we can, you know, really kind of push forward and, you know, move to where we need to be. So this is the collective message for you all. I really hope you enjoyed this little reading today and I'm thankful that I got to be able to sit down and do this reading for you all. So don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you haven't and I'm sending you all lots of spooky love and light.